I am selling every single thing that I own. Not actually, but I am cleaning my closet and I'm going back to my roots because I used to be a huge Poshmark reseller before I decided to start and run my own online business and quit my nine to five job on Wall Street. Yeah, I do a lot of things and that's what's got me here today. But as you can see, my closet is a fucking mess. The very first thing that must be done is everything needs to be organized. So I'm gonna first go through everything. So I have a like shirt, like nice shirts, jeans, then I have blazers, then I have sweaters, and also like there's a ton of winter stuff here. I'm just feeling like a little bit overwhelmed, but we're gonna figure it out. From when I worked like maybe I'll keep one but I really I think it's time like I have three suits and I haven't worn any of these since I worked my job so I'm thinking I sell like the navy one I don't know are people gonna buy suits I feel like a lot of people are working remote I don't know but I'm gonna figure it out okay so I'm gonna definitely sell um, the stuff that I'm selling I'm putting in my bed so I'm definitely gonna sell that navy suit like i don't need these suits oh my god it's bringing me back to my corporate days this one like ann taylor low-key has the best work stuff so if you need a suit like you need work clothes you gotta go to ann taylor this white blazer is cute i don't think it needs to be work vibes i'm not gonna actually sell any of the fall winter stuff because right now that wouldn't sell well so i'm gonna just leave it in the back of my closet and sell it like come August, like fall time. Because the thing about Poshmark and reselling is you have to sell like with the seasons. You could potentially sell sweaters right now, but one, they're just not gonna go as fast, and two, you're probably gonna sell them for less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight button down shirts. Never mind. That's not a button down. So I have seven of the same fucking shirt. I think that's a problem. We have to stay focused though. Okay, so I think I should go through these and I think I should just, there's this other white button down shirt that I really want. So that's why I feel like I have to get rid of some. It's the same shirt, both from Abercrombie. Holy shit, the same shirt. I have no idea why I did this. I'm getting hot. But we have to keep going. This tank, I probably bought it for like $10, so I could probably sell it for five. And if I sell them Poshmark for $5, I'm not gonna make that much money, which is why this is just better off donated because of the time and the energy it would take me to try to sell this. This, like this one is cute. It's getting a little beat up, but it's from Aritzia, so it's better quality. You know what, this shirt, another one, I just think that actually, maybe I'll sell this one, depending how I feel. Zara like little tank like it's cute. I just I'm not gonna wear it. These two like I'm just gonna keep them. They're like these like little going out shirts. And also this shirt that I have is literally stained and I never even wore it. Whatever. I have two gray sweatshirts. Freshman year of high school when I was like doing Soul Cycle like a psycho. I was literally doing it three times a week, and I I think it's time. Another problem was that I can barely reach the top of this closet. How tall do you guys think I am? Let me know in the comments. How cute is this top? I have it linked on my link to know it. Literally so cute, it's from Revolve. It was an investment, but it was worth it because I love this top and it makes me feel really good. Another top that I'm absolutely keeping is this new one that I just got. So it's like a dupe of like this really expensive top. How cute is this? We're almost done with cleaning the closet, not actually selling anything. So that's part two. Part one is just cleaning everything out, seeing what needs to be donated versus sold and making piles. I'm gonna finish up and then I'll take you through my process of selling. I 
build my humidifier. There was still water in there. Okay, like, I cleaned it up and now I'm wearing the hat. How cute is it? I think it looks a little bit better than before. I do need to fix this shoe situation, but we're making slow and steady progress. So these rain boots, I am absolutely selling. They're Hunter rain boots. These are gonna go quick. Like, people love this shit on Poshmark. So, I just, I don't wear them. And those will sell in the winter. In the summer, I mean. Ugh, my mini Uggs. I love them. with my friend when I was in Austin. It's a start. You know, I think I need to do something with the sweatshirts. I've been trying to figure that out. I also need to fix up there. I'm tired and I kind of want a popsicle. I have these popsicles that I got with my grocery delivery. I use gorillas, by the way. Obsessed with them. I'm gonna link them in the description. I'm exhausted from that work. But honestly, from here, looks good like that is so much better than before they might just leave it all right you guys i literally just took like a five minute nap and i feel so much better so now i am gonna go get the laundry which are the other clothes i have to get um i'm gonna go switch to laundry and then we're gonna get right to listing on Poshmark. Okay, so a major tip about when selling your clothes on Poshmark is you're gonna wanna make sure everything is in the square setting. So what I mean by this is naturally it's in this four to three ratio. You're gonna wanna make sure it's in square because that's how Poshmark is. I don't know, things could have changed, but just getting like the main stuff photographed. So like the front, the back, I always post in the moment because if I don't post in the moment, like it's definitely not gonna happen. I'm just living life. Fat bitches is the only thing that I like. Okay. And you know what? I also like to put like a little filter, really just like the main photo. I like to put a little filter. I actually have a filter in my camera roll called Poshmark. I only filter the first photo so it doesn't take me that long. I keep it very simple on Poshmark so let me show you how I do a listing. I'll make the title Soul Cycle Gray Hoodie. I'll say Great Condition, Size Small. Let me see if this hoodie has an actual brand because sometimes Soul Cycle would just put their products on something else. Okay, so I'm gonna put the details also from the tag here. This is just like a uh, added bonus. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it just because, okay? So I'm gonna write here. I'm gonna write 50% polyester, 37.5% cotton, 12.5% rayon, and I'm gonna say also runs true to size. Perfection, done. Category women, sweaters. No, it's under tops. This is where they get you. Sweatshirts and hoodies. Quantity one, size. Small brand, Soul Cycle, color gray. They've added so many new brands. New with tags now. I paid $98 for this. Let's see. Soul, let's see. Contemporary, I don't even know what that means. I think that's what it means, minimalist, sure. Spring. Actually, I'm gonna write summer because you could totally wear this like on a cold summer night. 
Original price, 98. I'm gonna say 50. And the reason why 50 with free shipping is because I'm probably gonna price drop it. Um, let's see. Yay, it worked. So now when you go to my profile, it'll be there. I like to offer like free shipping. Guys, I'm a serial Poshmark reseller. I straight up just spent two hours on Instagram. My camera was dying. Instagram and TikTok. My camera was dying. I came to put it here and charge it. And now it's been two hours. It's 5.51. I'm gonna cook dinner and then I'm gonna get to editing this video. All in all, this was a really productive day because I needed to clean my closet. And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Really, like, I just wanted it to be cleaner, more organized, get rid of the stuff I'm not wearing anymore. The clothes that I'm donating, I actually have this phone number to this company. I'm gonna let you guys know in the description if you guys are, like, based on, like, based in New York City or near New York City, you guys can call them. They literally pick up your donations, which is really cool. So I'm gonna do that. And then for the clothes I'm selling, there's like not a lot, there's like five things. So I'm just gonna leave it in my closet and I'm gonna sell those on Poshmark. And then when the time comes, I will go out and ship them. But that's it for this video. Yeah, I was like, I'm just like a mess. I literally was in the middle of posting something on Poshmark and I came to sit down. So now I'm gonna finish cleaning my room. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week for more weekly videos.